And I'll be speaking on the subject I've entitled, Jesus, Our Foundation. I say, Jesus, Our Foundation. But as we build that case, I need us to look uh, into something that is uh, very important. Zechariah chapter number 4 and verse number 9. The Bible says, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this temple, his hands shall also finish it. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. Foundations are different. They are spiritual foundations. They are physical foundations. But the truth of the matter, whether the foundation is physical or it's spiritual, a foundation determined a pre-plan of the building or a structure. The structure or the building is going to be built according to the foundation laid. The structure can never contradict the foundation. So the foundation is very important because it is what gives direction and gives strength to the structure. The reason why a lot of us are not making heads, it is not because that we are not intelligent enough. It is because of the foundation that we build our lives on. That's why when we speak about spiritual foundation, which I'll talk about later on as by evil foundations, if someone is going to put a business on a spiritual foundation that is evil, and every year he must kill a cow, and give us a sacrifice, the foundation is strengthened by what is given to it. So the time when it doesn't give, the cow, the foundation is tempered with. So whatever that foundation is supposed to carry, the foundation is weakened. Because what strengthened the foundation is now absent. So it's very important, ladies and gentlemen, for you to make sure that foundation is right. Foundation for your marriage, foundation for business, foundation for your life, foundation for everything that you do. Anything you begin wrong, you can never correct it later. So, Jesus, our firm foundation. First Corinthians chapter number 3 and verse number 11. For no one for no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Listen to this. According to the church, the foundation that has been laid is the foundation of Jesus Christ. Being, first of all, the son of God, the only mediator between man and God, the only savior, and there is nobody that can be saved outside Jesus Christ. So you need to understand the only foundation that has been laid for us as a church is Jesus Christ. So the first thing we must understand, we must all accept and have a relationship with Jesus. Jesus. Because the owner of the church and the foundation of the church is Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, no other foundation can be laid than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. So which means any doctrine that does not glorify Jesus, it is not the doctrine of God. That's why if you go to a place or you listen to a preacher and the doctrine is presenting to you, I don't know, I don't care how exegetical or homiletical it may be, but if the preaching or the presentation is not bringing glory to Jesus, uh, then you must know he's laying another foundation and that foundation can never carry your, your spiritual life. It can never build your life in Christ uh, because why? There is only one foundation and that foundation is Jesus. The reason why we need a good foundation. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 19, the Bible says, Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands. Having this seal, the Lord knows those who are his. 
and let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Now, when you look at that scripture, it says, nevertheless, the solid foundation of God does what? Stand. The solid foundation of God stands. Having this seal, the foundation has a seal. The seal is that the Lord knoweth them that are his. So you can never lie to him that you are his when you are not. So it's important for us, ladies and gentlemen, to walk away from hypocrisy and pretense. Let us come to the level where we serve God in truth and in spirit. Let us come to the level where we become the true saints and children of the living God. So the foundation we need to build on is the foundation of Christ. We reach the point in our churches and ministries where people don't enjoy the gospel of Christ. Anything that is Christ-centric, it is old-fashioned to them. Because people are looking for other things. When I come to discover, Jesus is the center of everything. And out of him you can get whatever you want that's why the bible says that it's the foundation of god that stands for sure if someone is going to prosper outside god by using other means their prosperity is not guaranteed and is not going to stand the test of time how do i know that because the foundation is wrong but when i stand on the principles of the word of the living god and i stand on the stone on the foundation of god I know that the foundation of God it does stand if your marriage goes on the foundation of God if your life and your business is built on the foundation of God arrows of the enemy shall come and they shall pass you wizards and witches they shall attack you and they shall pass because the Bible says the foundation of the Lord standeth having the seal that the Lord knows those who are his. If you are his child, the devil can never have you. Though he may feel like he's having you, he can never have you. I know some of you are here and you say because of pressure, I started to smoke. Because of pressure, I started to drink. Because of pressure, I started to steal. Because of pressure, I started to do some wrong things. But let me tell you something something uh, you know why quickly you realize uh, and you say lord i still need you it's because you don't belong to the devil you don't belong to the kingdom of satan you belong to jehovah you are his uh, there is a foundation uh, where your life has been built uh, the foundation of jesus uh, though the devil can try uh, to pull you away uh, he can never drop you from that foundation uh, because the bible says uh, the foundation of of the Lord uh, shall stand and you and I we shall stand the test of time somebody shout hallelujah foundations are very important that's why they are people before they start a work uh, they go to a certain place uh, to dig a foundation they go and offer their, their cats and dogs and cows and goats. Uh, and they speak what they need to. And they wash in the blood. Uh, and they wash in the water. And they tie something around themselves. Uh, and they say, I'm building a foundation uh, for the new business I'm beginning. Uh, but I came to talk to somebody. It doesn't matter that foundation. Uh, it has got no power over this foundation of Christ. Uh, how do I know that? Uh, Hebrews chapter number 13 uh, and verse number eight uh, the bible tells me he's the same yesterday uh, he's the same today uh, he'll be the same forever which means uh, my foundation uh, does not grow old uh, my foundation uh, does not expire my foundation uh, does not get weak uh, my foundation uh, is the same uh, yesterday uh, is the same uh, today uh, 
shall be the same uh, forever how do i know that uh, because christ my savior my very foundation uh, is the same uh, yesterday to turn forever and i came to let somebody know uh, when your life uh, is on a proper foundation uh, you never go up and come down uh, you know why you won't come down uh, because your foundation uh, is the same yesterday uh, is the same today uh, and shall be the same uh, forever i prophesy over you as you build your marriage uh, on the foundation of christ uh, no wizard no witch uh, no tokolosh uh, no power no colovela uh, shall be able to disturb your marriage uh, in the name of the lord uh, because the bible tells me christ is our sure foundation uh, shall power